Hello my wonderful friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. We are starting this week, oh my gosh. I am still in disbelief. Between the orders that came in for my Halloween launch last weekend, the orders that I've gotten for the October Emily Cromwell Designs box, other shop orders, and then orders for my October monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. Do you know how many open orders I have at this moment? Any guesses? I currently have 1,037 open orders. It is hard to let that sink in because I'm like, what? 1,000. And I only have you guys to thank for that. So this is me trying to give you a hug. Thank you so much for your orders, for your love, for your support. I am over the moon. I'm so excited that you guys have been loving everything. The Halloween launch went amazing. In total, I think I got like 331 orders that day. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for placing an order. And then for the October Emily Cromwell Designs box, this box, and I've been doing this now since July of 2023 every quarter, this box is the best selling box I have done yet. I am blown away. I already sold out of the box within like a few days of posting it and I had to add more stock onto it. That's how well it's going. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Like I said in my last video, it's available for order. Uh, when is this video going up? This one is going up the 9th. Okay. So it's available for, um, the box is available to order until October 9th. However, by the time this video goes up, I don't know if I'll have any left because I already added on extra stock. So I don't know, but thank you guys so much. I'm like, what? I'm just amazed that you guys love this stuff that much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we get into starting to pack up the Halloween launch orders today, I do have a very big announcement to make. I used to do like craft shows and exhibit at art markets many years ago when I was like in college and a little bit after college but that was when I really didn't at all do bookish stuff. I haven't done an in-person event and set up in eight years. That is about to change. I'm very excited to announce that for the first time in eight years I'm going to be exhibiting at my first in-person event. This is for all the New Englanders out there. It is going to be in Manchester, New Hampshire. And it's also a bookish event. I am so excited. I've always dreamt of exhibiting at like a book signing event to be a vendor. And that dream is finally coming true. The event is called A Very Merry Bookmas which is a holiday romance book fair. And it's going to have so many different romance authors who are gonna be exhibiting with their books, doing book signings, and then they're also going to have vendors set up, like myself, with bookish merch. Now the event is happening next December, so you have a lot of time to plan, December 13th, 2025, in Manchester, New Hampshire. Tickets for the event are going up for sale this December 1st. So, how long, I don't know how long is that, almost a little under two months from now. If you wanna make sure to get a ticket, make sure to follow them on Instagram. Their event name on Instagram is, I'm looking at my phone so I don't mess this up, Very Merry Bookmas. And um, yeah, so I would love to meet any of you guys that are close and would love to come to the event. I'm gonna be there set up so you can shop in person at my booth. I'm either gonna have Chris or my mom with me so you can meet one of them too. And um, I'm gonna probably do something fun for like anyone that comes in person like, I don't know if I'll do a giveaway exclusive product or something, but I'm gonna do something fun. So I would love to meet any of you guys that are able to come to that. I am over the moon. I'm so excited. I'm nervous because I haven't done an event in eight years, but I'm very excited and I'm really looking forward to it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know some of you are in the New England area. So I will be in Manchester, New Hampshire, December 13th, 2025. But okay, let me circle back. This week we are, big surprise, after the Halloween launch, we are just working on packing Halloween launch orders and that's literally all we're doing. So I need to go call my mom to get her to come down. She's gonna be working on some things. I think 
what I'm gonna have her do is, while I'm starting to pack things, look through my bookmark corner and see what bookmarks we're getting low on and to go through like the extra stock we have and restock things because I've been meaning to do that for ages now and I just have not done it and I need to do it. So she volunteered, so that was awesome. But um, before we can start packing orders, I actually need to find a space for all the Halloween bookmarks because I have not put them away. <laughs> I think the same with the Halloween stickers, too. Yeah, I'm majorly running out of space, just saying. Um, so let's go figure that out, and then we will start packing orders. <laughs> so this is what I'm working with. Um, <laughs> as you can see, up at the top here are the only things left open, but I'm actually going to be retiring one of my Christmas sets, so I think I might make that change now and... And maybe I'll put the new Halloween ones up there. So for the Christmas set that I'm retiring, I'm actually retiring the Holly Jolly bookmark set from two years ago. The rest of these bookmarks are going to be just dispersed into mystery grab bags that I do in November. Get ready for November. So it's going to be the gingerbread pattern bookmark. The lighting is terrible. I apologize. The stockings bookmark. Oh my god, this lighting. Um, the uh, reindeer all I want and the ho 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 design. I'm going to take these out. I want the hollow. I might move some of my older sets up so that the newer Halloween set can be closer down here. So let's do that. So one thing that I love to do during the Halloween season, and I'm so excited because I forgot I did this last year, but I was decorating my studio a little bit for Halloween this past weekend, and I found my pink cauldron. I don't know if anyone who was here last year remembers this, but one of the things that I like to do last year was I picked a couple orders that came in and I made like short form video content of going around the studio packing the order in the pink cauldron and like picking the items, putting it in the cauldron to bring it over to the shipping station. So I get to do that again and I'm very excited. So it is pink cauldron season, everybody. <laughs> you know what I just realized I did? <laughs> Why did I do this? I just got all my new thank you cards <laughs> delivered for the Halloween launch. I wrote the thank you cards on fall launch stuff. I mean, oh well, this is the first day, so I'm like getting into the groove of switching from fall to Halloween, but it's all right. I mean, a lot of these orders have a lot of fall stuff in it, so I apologize. Everybody else, you will be getting the Halloween postcard. I am remembering though to switch out my packing tape to the Halloween design, so that's gonna get done. But how did I forget to do that? My bad. <laughs> also, look who decided to join us. Big Toby Man. Look how big this guy is. You're such a big boy. 
So he's gonna hang out with us and mom is on her way. And I also just got my new freebie bookmarks delivered for the Halloween launch orders, or I should say for the Halloween season. So those are going to be this design, which is, um, is this, is this the scrunchie design? What's the, no, actually it's not. It's kind of like the scrunchie design, but it's kind of like scrunchie part two. <laughs> and then I have my favorite individuals here with me today. Hi everybody. <laughs> Toby and I came to work today. Mom is going to work on packing up a wholesale order while I start packing up the Halloween launch orders. So I am getting the freebie bookmarks set up so those are easy to grab and go. And then the only other thing I have to swap out is I got the packing stickers for the outside. We are changing over to these for the Halloween orders. And I didn't design a Halloween envelope because I have so many of these left over. So I'm gonna use these. I don't know if I'm gonna do a Halloween order for that, but I might just use those and then buy more of those if I need those. <laughs> Sir, work. sir, what are we doing? <laughs> Some work, honey. Hey, Toby. He's just quality checking the box are you here. Help? All right. You so Toby help? is on wholesale order duty. He is making sure everything is looking correct. How's how's mom doing, Tobe? I think. Do you like this one with a kitty? This is Mitty. Okay. Oh, oh, we're going down. <laughs> it's like I'm just gonna scooch in right here. You gonna help me out? Yeah, you're gonna help. Hi, <laughs> Tobe. Hey, bud. What are you doing? <laughs> Says I'm helping. Whoops, I can't get this off. Talk about pressure, the boss right up in your face <laughs> watching you work. No pressure here. What do you think, dude? Is that approved? Hey. <laughs> what do you think? Is that approved? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so I actually had to bring over um, my new chair. Well, not new chair. It's a chair my mom's always had, but it's a new chair for me in the studio um, to sit on while packing orders. I feel like my s digestive system is very, very nauseous today, and I don't feel the best. One of the perks of living with a chronic illness is each day, I always say each day is like a roulette wheel. You never know how you're going to feel, and I don't feel my best today. Um, I'm just very lightheaded and nauseous so I'm gonna try to pack Ow, my wrist. <laughs> everything is not feeling the best um, while sitting see how I can do and then I'm gonna get some ginger tea made to see if that helps me feel a bit better <laughs> So I was hoping the chair would work out, but it's actually, I'm finding it very hard to pack while sitting down because most of the stuff I just need to move around a lot. So I think maybe I'll take a ginger tea break to see if that helps the inflammation. And um, then I will try to just get back to standing and packing because the chair works if I'm doing like stuff where I don't have to really like do much movement but when I have to like get like the desk mats out and like put big boxes together it requires a little bit more effort. Oh wrong box hold on I forgot I need a bigger box for this order.
All right, so mom's task right now is she is going through all of our extra bookmark stocks. So we have these three boxes and we have these three bins over here. And she's going through the bookmark corner and left, left Christmas bookshop. Bingo! And she's finding any bookmarks Whoa. like the Christmas bookshop. <laughs> Like the Christmas bookmark shop, down. how like finding any bookmarks that are low in stock and she's going to be replenishing those so that bookmarks are stocked up for packing your orders. It's beginning to look a lot <laughs> like Christmas. Doo -doo. <laughs> Okay, I am making my way through orders. I've got these boxes packed, these boxes. We've got a stack of orders in here and I am continuing on. So I made a little oopsie and I forgot so get my laminators going while I was packing, not packing, uh, buying the shipping labels. So um, I need to wait a little bit, little bit, wait a little bit for the laminators to heat up. But I'm gonna start pulling the stickers and the bookmarks for the orders, and I can just start stacking up things that need to be laminated, so we can still make some progress moving forward. <laughs> All right, guys, I am finishing up laminating some bookmarks. And once I'm done, I'm actually gonna call it quits for the day because it's pretty much almost the time that I stop working anyways. So I'm gonna call it quits, go get some food, um, go continue drawing for my Christmas launch. And yeah, so that is gonna be it for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow and we're gonna keep packing orders. Good morning, my friends. We are getting a little bit of a late start today. It's almost 11.30. I've been dealing with a manufacturing headache this morning. I don't wanna to get too into it, but it's just put me in a really kind of like irritated mood. So I'm trying to like work through it and get in a good mood to like try to pack orders today and not focus on the frustrations. <sighs> There's just always something going on, it seems. But we, I, I still have like two stacks of orders here in front of me of all the orders from yesterday that we weren't able to finish that like I pulled bookmarks for. So I think I actually might start with, start, start with those orders first and then I have another like huge list of orders to print out to also work on today. I don't know what all I'm going to get to with how late I'm getting started today. Uh, we're just going to do the best we can today. I also have a book sleeve launch tonight so and then I have an appointment around like four, so I'm not having a lot of time today to pack. So I want to at least get these done so I can just go in the order of which orders were placed and just try to get as many orders packed as I can. So that is what we are going to work on next. I will say at least one good thing is yesterday I got all the orders placed for the products for the October Emily Cromwell Designs box. And then I also got some orders placed for um, some Christmas things. So things are getting in production. I'm feeling that my 
holiday slash Christmas launch is probably going to be either early November or mid-November, so keep an eye out for that. I am still drawing for that. Not done yet, but I'm working on it, but I'm happy. It's it's kind of like a big weight off my shoulders that I, that I at least started to get products bought for that, so that's making me feel a lot better. So I'm going to focus on these orders right now and um, we're just going to see what all we can do today. So while I'm getting all my bins together to go over to the inventory wall, I will say um, the other night I finished the book I was reading, The Games Gods Play by Abigail Owen. Guys, like honestly, I know that I said this in my last video. If you like fantasy books that's like really heavy on Greek mythology and it's like a Hades retelling, and it's got like Hunger Games vibes, slight Percy Jackson vibes, but with romance, you will love this book. Like it, honestly, it turned out to be like one of my top favorite books of all time. That's how much I loved it. I will say it does end on a cliffhanger. As far as I know from what I've seen online, the second book hasn't even been announced yet. And it does end on kind of like a doozy of a cliffhanger. But oh my gosh, is it good? It is so, so good. I highly recommend it. It had me like fully immersed throughout the whole thing. It was amazing. And um, the next book I started was a book that I have actually had on my TBR cart for a couple months now. I bought it a few months ago. Haven't gotten to it yet. But it's Magnolia Parks. And I, I've had it on my TBR cart. Haven't gotten to it. Same with the Games Gods Play. I kept seeing like short form videos about it online and I'm like, okay, I'm convinced. Cause like I'm a major mood reader, so I will be I will like frequently switch between fantasy, contemporary, like that. Like I'm always switching, depending on what my mood is in the mood for with what to read. And I love when books find you at the right time and the right mindset because sometimes I'll start a book and I just do not mesh with it but I know I would like it at a later date but I've been having a lot, a lot of luck lately with finding books at the right time and that happened with this book as well Magnolia Parks I love it it's honestly like Gossip Girl but as a book set in London and it is so good like the drama, like the toxicity of the characters and the relationships, it's just so like Im immersive. I'm originally having like a little bit of a hard time getting into like the author's writing style because it's just a bit different than what I'm used to, but it's growing on me and I'm starting to really enjoy it. And it's just, I will say that one, it's not like, happy love story it's very toxic I have to say and like back and forth and a lot of drama like if you've seen Gossip Girl you would love this book series I think it's I don't know if I read it, it was like five or six books I don't know if they're making like writing more but I love it I think it's really good and like I'm down here and that's how I know I love a book when I'm like doing something else and I'm like I just really want to be reading right now and I really do like like right now I just really just want to like continue reading the book but it's all right at least while I get to wait to read it till this afternoon it gets like builds up the excitement until I get to read again <laughs> oh sorry I'm doing a lot of talking today I also forgot to tell you guys that I just found out this morning that this is not business related but I just found out this morning that the town approved the permit for our edition for Chris and I so that is going to be starting next week. I am over the moon. Chris is over the moon. The um, contractor is coming next week before they start putting out the stakes to start excavating and doing um, like the foundation and all the cement and everything. And we're going to be having one last like sit down meeting to go over like the schedule of things and um, how it's going to work. <laughs> and I'm excited. I'm nervous to be honest because I just, I don't like when construction work is done to the house because I get stressed out with like, just like the loudness of things and all the noise. Hesitant because I know they're gonna have to be in the studio. I don't know if it's a few days or a week or so to hook up the plumbing to our new kitchen uh, through the ceiling. So I'm gonna have to figure that out whenever they do that. I'm either gonna have to like move my work time to evenings for those couple of days that they're gonna be down here or like 
pack enough in advance that I don't have to be down here, but I'm going to have to move like a bunch of stuff from that wall. So that's going to be thrilling. Um, but thankfully it won't last too long. But we're excited to start this next chapter in our lives. So I know some of you have been asking for updates about the addition. So that's happening and I'm finally going to get my little library room. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Right, this next order that we're packing is for a subscriber here on YouTube. Her name is Jennifer and let's get your order packed up.
I am almost out of boxes, so I need to see what I have. I have a lot of boxes of boxes, so I need to see what I have so we can get those restocked to continue packing orders. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop with where I'm at for all the orders that I packed so far today because this is probably gonna take up a majority of the mail truck, so I don't wanna overwhelm my mailman. So I'm gonna get the labels bought for these. I need to go do an errand, have an appointment, gotta eat dinner, have a book sleeve launch tonight. So it's a very busy day. So I'm calling it quits for today and we're gonna be back down here tomorrow, which is Friday. Which I can't even believe tomorrow's already Friday. Like, where did the week go? Anyways, we're going to be back down here tomorrow to, you guessed it, keep packing orders together. So don't go anywhere. Good morning, lovelies. It is Friday, which means the last packing day for this video. I don't, like I said yesterday, I don't know how we're already Friday. I feel like this week kind of just started and here we are already. But um, today we're just going to be continuing to pack up Halloween launch orders. So I actually had my fall and Halloween book sleeve launch last night. It went amazingly well. Thank you so much to everybody that placed an order out of, let's see if I can turn you here, hold on, out of all the book sleeves here, so all these and all those taking up the whole shelf, I only have nine left. So thank you guys so very much. Let me turn you back, hold on, and let me check again. So Guess how many open orders I have at this moment. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm so blown away because this is literally, has always been my dream to have this many people like my artwork and it is shocking to me. Like I still have a hard time grasping this many people like my stuff. Guess how many open orders I have right now? You ready? One thousand one hundred and seventy three orders. Look at that right here. Look at that. I'm like, oh my God. I will never, ever, ever be able to say thank you enough to everyone that places orders in my shop. I will never, ever, ever be able to say thank you. It is just... I'm so grateful. Um, but that is why I'm down here working super hard to get your orders packed. My mom is going to be coming down here today. She's going to be doing two things. One is she is going to be helping me pack Halloween launch orders. And two, she also is taking on a little bit of a new role here in the Emily Cromwell Designs. Not, I guess not the studio because she doesn't all have to do all the work here, but the Emily Cromwell Designs team is if you've been around a while you probably remember I do this but I used to have um, every three months on Instagram I used to do seasonal rep searches for like brand reps to represent um, 
my brand and do like weekly posts and you'd get sent like a packet of products and stuff. With how busy I've gotten, I've really fallen off the face of the earth with keeping up with that and I haven't done a new one. I think it's been over a year, year and a half, two years. It's been a while. I have a team of permanent reps that are phenomenal and that I've had on my team for like three, three years, two years, three years. Like they've been, they're phenomenal. But I'm trying to get back into doing seasonal rep searches for people on Instagram that have a Bookstagram account to join the rep team for three months at a time. So um, today when I'm filming this, I'm actually posting my seasonal rep search for November through January term to bring on some seasonal reps during that time period. And my mom is actually going to be taking over managing all the rep team stuff. So like she's going to be in the group chat. She's going to be the one packing up all the rep packets and sending them out, getting everyone their tracking numbers. So she's going to be handling that side. So I can focus on creating more artwork, packing orders, doing business admin things. So um, we are expanding over here slowly but surely. Things are growing. I am excited. So with that said, um, before she gets down here, I'm going to get started on getting all the orders, uh, the sheets printed out today that we have to work on. And I think we have some magnetic bookmarks that we have to make too. So we are going to be working on that and let's get going. Okay, all the magnetic bookmarks are made. We are ready to go. I'm gonna be working on, hold on, let me resituate you, there we go. I'm gonna be working on um, getting products pulled from the inventory wall. But while I figure out what orders need stuff from over there, I uh, wanted to thank you guys for all your excitement about uh, me mentioning the possibility of doing Vlogmas again for December. I was so excited to see that so many of you guys were interested in me doing that. So I will be doing a 12 days of Vlogmas all through December. It's going to be spaced out 12 different videos throughout the month of December. So starting on December 1st, usually it's like every other day, every three days. I have a schedule, I'll post it soon, but leading up to Christmas. And um, you guys gave me a lot of great ideas. Thank you for that. I'm gonna be focusing on doing like packing holiday orders. I'm gonna do a q and A. I I'm gonna do one of the videos I actually wanna do. Oh, what did I call it? I was gonna call it something like all the mistakes I made in my business so that you don't have to or something. Wording it something like that, telling you all the mistakes I made and telling you how to avoid them. Um, so you can kind of skip that step when you're starting a business so you're not making some of the mistakes I made as a rookie when I was younger. Um, but then also some of you mentioned like, oh, what was it? It was a cool idea someone mentioned of like bringing you with me start to finish from creating a holiday drawing. So like my whole drawing process. I've tried to do a video over a year ago of like where it was just drawing and it didn't do well. So I'm thinking maybe for that video, maybe I would just like 
it would be focused on drawing artwork but it would also be vloggy where like taking you along with me throughout the day for what else I do that day I don't know um, again if you guys have any more requests or ideas that you would like to see for vlogmas let me know but I am currently in the planning stages for that I am actually planning this weekend because today's Friday so this weekend I'm actually planning on filming the Q&A which is going to be, I think I'm going to have that be the first video I do for Vlogmas. So I'm going to actually f like be really ahead of the game and film that this weekend. And that way it gives me time to edit it and I'm just going to try to like do that. And I'm thinking some other stuff too can be like the aftermath of Black Friday, packing Black Friday orders, ho like holiday launch. Well, holiday launch prep wouldn't really be for Vlogmas because that's going to be happening this month <laughs> so I don't know but anyways uh, I am I'm having fun planning it so this is just me saying I was very excited to see that you guys were excited as well <laughs> Right, this is mom's first day on the job as what should we call you rep team coordinator sure that sounds good I think that's a good Hi, name <laughs> so she is pulling products for our permanent reps right now the rep search just went live on Instagram and exciting things are happening all right I am going to work on buying shipping labels because as you can tell boxes are taking over my desk mom is on laminating duty for bookmarks for rep packages so when I'm done uh, getting all the labels bought we're probably gonna do a little switcheroo and I'm gonna jump over into the bookmark corner to start pulling bookmarks for orders <laughs>
Holy moly. Talk about a marathon bookmark pulling session. I got not one, not two, but three piles of orders with bookmarks pulled, laminated. We are ready to go. I don't know if I'm going to get all of these packed. It's almost three right now. We're making progress. Mom is all done. Oh, this, my bangs. Ugh, the bangs, man. Um, Mom is all done packing up. rep packets. Um, I'm going to just see how many of these orders I can get packed until end of my work day. I'm about to fall over and we're good and we're just gonna keep on keeping on guys. This order made me smile. This customer got every single brand new bookmark in the Halloween launch. The traditional bookmarks, the wide bookmarks, and all the magnetics. So let's pack that up. That made me smile. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we have made it to the end of this video. I have a special guest. <laughs> she made it to the end of the work day too. I should say work week because this was like a marathon packing week. I still have so many orders to pack. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm down to now, but I, I have a lot still to pack. So thank you guys again for all of your Halloween launch orders. I am so very grateful for all of your support. I've been having a lot of fun and she has too with packing up all the fun Halloween orders going out this week. So I cannot wait for you to get them. Next week's video, um, we are going to be continuing to pack up the Halloween launch orders. Mom is going to be starting to work on packing the October monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. Uh, she's got a lot to do. It's been fun to be back in the studio. <laughs> so we are going to be ending the video here. We It is Friday night, which means we are heading to the bookstore. Gotta go pick out a book for the week at Barnes & Noble, get some dinner, and I'm pretty much going to spend probably this whole weekend working on Christmas designs oh. because holidays are coming up. <laughs> Christmas is coming. So, um, mom, I'm going to give you the task. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm losing feeling uh -oh. in my feet. She's going down, people. She's going down. I'm kneeling down. on the ground. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you the task of picking the word of the week. Oh, how do we pick a word of the week? So what I do is at the end of every video, if I remember, there's a word of the week. And for those that made it to the end of the video, they can comment it in uh, the comment section. So you can just pick a word of the week that has to do with what we've done this week or time of the year it is, whatever you want it to be. Hmm. Well, the first word that's coming to mind is joy. Joy. I like that. It's been a joy okay. to be back. It's been a joy to spend time with my wonderful daughter. Girlfriend. <laughs> I want everybody to go be happy. That's my motto. <laughs> okay, so you heard it from the woman herself. Go find some joy. Go be happy. Studio Mom's Word of the Week is joy. So if you made it to the end of this video, and if you want to, comment joy in the comment box to let us know you made it to the end. And I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I hope you are doing amazing. I hope you are reading some even more amazing books and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs>